What's going on my lovelies? In today's video, we will be looking at some gameplay of Douglas Bullet. This, these gameplays will be provided by the one and only Kirio. I do not have him, obviously. That's why I'm on this screen. But, you know me, saving for that thick boy freaking Blackbeard. So I didn't pull on him when they released him again. So I never actually like sat there and read um, read his skills or his traits or anything. So this is actually my first time reading this crap, okay? So skill 1, long range charge attack, nullify stagger, and uh, gets a attack debuff and speed debuff when it's maxed out. This I guess oh it's that charge skill so you hold down the damn skill and it inflicts tremor okay I don't need to explain what the hell holding down a charge skill is when your allies are not near the treasure area you get a 20% damage reduction and you do 20% more damage to any Roger or ex Roger pirates tags or anybody that has that tag. You get a second effect and a 30% damage reduction at 70% HP or more. He nullifies stun. After using skill 2, change down to a stagger and get a 50% damage reduction. Get a damage increase by 30% when in the treasure area, so it can be anybody's treasure. When using skill 2, get a 30% attack boost for 20 seconds and a 20% defense boost for 20 seconds. When attacking a character that has the Roger or X Roger Pirates tag, you increase the cooldown time of their dodge by 50%. And when you are down, you inflict yourself with Nullify Stagger for 10 seconds and recover HP by 10%. Alright, so he's using Triple Luffy on bullets. Looks like it's mainly focused on a 5% damage increase. In the Battle Axe Metal, I believe it gets a skill 2. Yeah, a skill 2 cooldown every time he KOs the enemy. For supports, 161%. With Attacker, Straw Hat Pirates, Paramecia, Captain, and New World. Okay, first game. Freaking sweaty as hell. A whole bunch of Odin on his freaking team. 202. Okay, freaking party power. Versus 185k. And they got some EXs too, I guess, but not that many EXs. They. Well, not that many runner. So. Might be a little bit bad on the enemy's team because they actually got that freaking uh, Kaido. And no, not really that many runners. And you know, Kaido needs runner, Kaido needs flags. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. Alright, I'm actually not even paying attention. Um, what's going on? He's over there beating up that Toffee. What the fuck? That Toffee got fucking fucked already. And now he's just dying. Playing mighty aggressive, huh? Poor Kaido, too. <laughs> but uh, somebody is capping their freaking C. Okay, it was stopped in time. And he managed to take their B flag. And killed that freaking Usopp, too. Dang, man. Racking up them kills, huh, Kirio? Alright, so for the people who actually don't know, though, bullets can move a lot faster with the two taps on your normal attack. Now he's over here 1v1-ing the freaking Akainu, but I think that Akainu isn't really doing that much damage and they're about to get a freaking team boost too. Okay. He unfortunately got knocked back by that sneaky little meteorite of Kaido's. The enemy team actually got to Kaido and he's using that charge skill. Inflicted Tremor on the Kaido and with the last remaining of his team boost, he actually killed the Kaido off. You see, I bullet. I think he is actually really like tanky. Like I played with some of them, 
I mean not with but against some of them already and they're pretty annoying to deal with. Ooh. And stop that Marco in time to freaking cap and wow. Stuns him too. That Marco stood no freaking chance. I'm so sorry. Looks like they're about to get a 5-0 also. I'm not sure. No. I guess it was able to stop. Well, able to be stopped in time. Enemy, I think, unfortunately, there's nothing they can really do about it. Less than a minute left on the freaking clock. And finally, they got a team boost, but I really think it's kind of like too late. A full flag and... Um, I don't know why that do uh, fucking Roger dodged out, but... Uh, every time he used that charge skill though, I think it gives- Oh, wait. Did he kill that guy with that freaking tremor attack? I have no clue, but they actually managed to wipe out the whole freaking enemy team and got a 5-0. Unfortunately for the enemy, I'm so sorry. I feel so sorry for you guys. <laughs> there he goes showing off his skills. Alright, and the dude taking the feast item at the last second. Not bad. GG. Okay. A whole bunch of freaking Rogers on the enemy team, and they got a Marco, and basically just fighting against a whole bunch of freaking EXs this round. 198k party power versus 192k party power so not too bad so i just i don't know why the hell every time i feel like every time i use like a blue unit i always get to fight against like a whole bunch of green units for some reason and that seems to be his freaking problem too um, I guess he was planning on heading to mid flag, but he's going up to D since everybody else is going to mid flag. They at least managed to cap um, mid, and he's advancing over here to fight the freaking Roger. Or maybe he was trying to intercept the Marco, I don't know, but uh, he kind of jumped down. I don't know if that was an accident or not. Oh. So that skill missed because the freaking Roger got downed and now the Roger is just super angry and going for him. <laughs> and he's really being aggressive this game it seems like. Really great perfect dodges so far but that Kaido released his skill and got him to be knocked back. Freaking Roger still angry as hell for some reason <laughs> but ate that fucking um, skill one. Poor little guy now he's running away. <laughs> Roger, why are you playing like a little bitch? Come on. Come. Um. Kaido decided. What the fuck are you doing, Kaido? Like, hello, uh, defenders. Especially Kaido. Stay in your treasure area. Why are you trying to cap? Like, if you look on the map, somebody is advancing towards that Kaido to spawn. Oh. Well, lucky for him, he managed to freaking kill that person, but he is out of his treasure area which puts him in a huge disadvantage yamato going for that freaking mid um cap but that skill two tremored and stopped her cap in time marco being marco <laughs> oh no being marco and sneaky fucking killed that roger with the freaking skill one finally i think i think that was the roger that was at the beginning i'm not really sure now everybody is <laughs> tag team on the poor Roger oh man I don't know I think Kiryu is just like one of the best fucking players ever cuz look at all them perfect ass fucking dodges when I get perfect dodges wait most of the time it'd be by accident yo but don't tell nobody that um Luffy over there doing an early dodge he was gonna kill the Luffy but unlucky for them they got a team boost well the enemies got a team boost so they ended up getting mid capped. Oh shit, okay, so 30 seconds left on the game. I'm not really sure if they're going to be able to secure the win. Um, teammates all starting to respawn. That skill 2 is not really doing nothing on the freaking bullet. And, ooh, okay. 
it's a really huge fight over there at B flag. Ah, uh, damn. So unfortunately, he couldn't win this game, but I think he did pretty well. And also, from what I noticed, I don't think his teammates were really trying to cap the flag either. They were busy fighting, but GG to him because he was actually the one who was carrying shit. Not that many freaking Roger. Just a Roger on his um, team and none on the enemy's team, so that's actually good. I really haven't seen, you know, Bullet like 1v1 freaking Roger, like personally, besides that one match where the Roger kept running away. Uh, Luffy, Odin, Kaido, and a um, Rayleigh. Hopefully that Yamato can freaking make it to mid. Alright, so see, as a fucking defend- Okay, really nice. Kinda missed on there. But as a freaking attacker, it is always best to freaking help out your freaking runner. Ooh, hold up. He just KO'd that fucking Odin that fucking quickly. Oh, kinda got sneaked to <laughs> by the Luffy Tremor, but it's actually not really, like, his fault, you know. Um, good thing for them, it looks like his- teammates are backing him up so they're going to capture mid again perfect kaido doesn't have his b flag either but there's only one person over there fighting everybody else which i guess in a way it's good because he's actually stalling oh it's freaking roger that's stalling so curious over there coming to the roger rescue oh Two freaking Kaidos on the field. Oh, actually, four freaking defenders currently spawned right now, which can be good or it can be bad. But with, I feel like it might be a bad thing since they actually don't have any flags be besides their uh, spawn flag. That Kaido over there running back, running away. And now he's fighting literally three freaking people. I'm not, I'm not really gonna count that Yamato because I don't know, she over there countering for no fucking reason at all. Got back up from the defender kid. Stunned freaking Kaido, can't really do shit about it because he's not in his treasure area. They're trying so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the poor freaking people. And somebody is actually over there capping their base flag too. So I think this might be a quick win, honestly. He's being really aggressive. As always, Kirio is really aggressive, you guys. So if you play against him, watch out. He's pretty damn aggressive. Besides against me. Fuck that fucking Luffy up. That's what you get. <laughs> and advancing to enemy spawn. Well, that's game. Fucking 5-0. GG. Hit them all with that damn MVP too. And I would like to mention, Kirio only giving out grades because he's recording. Otherwise, he don't give a shit. And that's it for today's gameplay video. I hope you guys enjoyed Kirio's showcase of Douglas Bullets. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button too. And I will see you guys in the next video.